Okay. <laughs> You've got exactly the same eyebrow hair yeah, as me. Get it, get it. Can you see it? No, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Keep, keep looking at it. Yeah. The longer you look at it. The more dizzy I get. Careful. <laughs> look at it again. Look at it. Mom, you look like a little man. So I think we should plant the other lilac. You and your lilac. I'm fed up. Don't you what? like lilacs? They were beautiful this year. They gave such colour over the table over there. No, I know, but the, none of the lilacs that we had gave us anything. Let's just plant stuff Which that lilacs? We know. Lilacs we're talking about. The what do you mean? I've bought beautiful new ones, d different coloured ones. Are we talking about lilacs? Yeah, yeah. The lilac worries that we've had, the one down there. Yeah, but the one down there is, is that's showing buds that are. Yeah. Creepy. But we're just in winter. I'm talking about should we plant the other lilacs that we've got? Because we've got two. It's up to you. I'm not so enthusiastic about that. You suddenly lost all enthusiasm because I've said lilacs. Well, so far we've had absolutely no luck with lilacs. No, but we're, we're only going to get luck with all of them next year. Exactly, but I'm just thinking let's carry on with stuff that I'm totally enthusiastic oh, about. God. <laughs> what, like cutting these and getting the soil out? No, well, no, obviously not that. This I wondered. One. I wondered whether the Look hawthorn. At that. I know. That, That's that. probably once every thousand years. I wondered whether the hawthorn tree yeah. should go in the corner of that bed over there. I think you're right. Do you? I do. As a sort of marker for the corner of I the bed. I do, and if we can keep that going. Let me go down with the fork and see how forkable yeah. it is. Because yeah. it's wet. Look at that lilac. It's looking at me now as if to say you don't. That's not even the lilac I'm talking about. I'm talking about that lilac. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm going on a reconnaissance mission to see if I can dig a corner of a bed that doesn't exist. Look, there's our Magnolia stellata in the middle of the bed. I am, when we get the first bit of consistently good weather, I am going to mow the lawn, um, even though it's winter. So let's come round here. Now that there, that there, is where I'm gonna rotivate the corner of the lawn and I'm planning on putting the ooh, planning on putting the um, weeping willow. And here, as you may remember, was where I started to tarpaulin the uh, rest of this to prepare it for next year. But I'm gonna just test this corner and see if we could dig a hole. Okay, not too bad. I'm getting some depth there. I'm going to get the spade because I think it's something quite hard. What's that? I don't know what that is. What is it with gardening? I've started digging. I've hit this enormous thing. It's a boulder in the middle there, look. And I can't get under it. I can't get over it. I can't get round it. We're going to have to go over it. No, I don't know what that is. Anyway, so I've dug a whole trench around it, like an archaeological dig. It's like a giant bit of amalgamated rock and stone. And it's really hard to leverage it and get it to budge. But I think if we can remove that, we can plant things. And that might be the one main blockage to this bed becoming a bed, which is incredibly good. So the wet, the amount of water we've had in recent weeks means that it's quite pliable. But I've just hit this huge, literally, bedrock. I can't get around, I'll get you, give you a close-up now. See? It's like almost a moat around this mound in the middle. So I'm gonna use this. Oh, God, it's too much for me. I'm with my tender bag, I can't do too much. I told Annie Dyer to come and find, come and join me, but I'm gonna show you, look, look, look. Look, it's like a huge mound of rock. It seems to go down forever. There's no way to budget. I'm wondering if I, it alongside here. Come on, Mum. Come on. This way. Over here. Here, Nanny Day. Here, Nanny, Nanny, Nanny Day. Here, Nanny Day. Here, Nanny, 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 Nanny Day. Oh, here she comes. Oh, you're going quite fast, then. Careful. 
Yeah, but look what I've discovered. The one spot I was going to put the hawthorn tree. Yeah. Look. What is it? A ginormous slab of rock. It looks like it's been thrown in, but I can't get leverage underneath it. I can't go under it. I can't go alongside it, round it. Mark, that's very weird. That's very spooky. Isn't it? It's like something out of Parasite. You know that rock they show and keep showing in Parasite? But do you think it's concealing like a... Is it a like a butt plug to hell? It could be. You know, like that Nicolas Cage film? Yeah, Colour Out of Space. Yeah. Could it be a well? Yeah. A spring? Because apparently there's a spa here somewhere. Could I move that and then... I mean, yeah, when so I... You might... You might... Hey, you Do me back in. But yeah, but look, as soon as you... Oh, so, so you try and get this. No, 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 Mark, stop, I can see, it's absolutely. And then you, it literally, look. Yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah, but that's the worrying thing, is somebody meant it to be, be there. there. What do we think the rock is, Mum? I don't know, but I think what we do is we respect it and move it to over there. I can't lift it though. No, no, I don't mean, sorry. I mean, oh no, I was gonna the put the tree here. Yeah. Move the I'm going alongside it. Yeah. <clears throat> the good thing is, is around it, mm -hmm. I'm able to dig up. This is your new bed. <clears throat> but you've just got a great big hunking rock in the middle of it. But you're giving me a ghostly rock. You're giving me a... I know what would go... We could put cyclamen around it, couldn't we? To try and get rid of the ghostly ghostliness. We might have to build... We might have to put a pile of soil there and create a mound over it if I can't move it. Or like a little rock. Maybe we should respect the rock and put other little rocks there and make that into a tiny rock garden. Is that your stomach? Respect the rock. I think we should respect the rock. Do you? What's that thing? Fragile, fragile. Oh, that's another composter. Oh. So what do you reckon, Mum? Do I carry yeah. on or do I let the do I let the elements brush it away? No. Well, yes, leave it like that. Yeah. And then something who knows. Some spirit world wants it to come out. It will come out in the night and we'll find it here. Are you drawing parallels there with the magnificent beam at Christchurch Priory? No, I'm drawing parallels with the parasite film. But they kept picking that rock up and looking at it and never explaining what they were doing. Do you think sacrifices have happened here? Maybe. What if we found a grave? Well, doesn't that look exactly like one? It's definitely a rock that's been put there on purpose. Yeah. And I just want to know how far down it goes. You really don't want to know. Mark. I do. You really don't. You really don't. What if there's a pot of gold under it? It won't be a pot of gold. It's more like it's be a pot of bones. A pot of bones. Don't be frightened, subs. We obviously we're not going to disturb it. Well, I am. He might disturb it. I look disturbed. Um, okay, well, I'm going to quickly dig here, yeah. and then I don't know if you're capable of bringing the hawthorn over, are you, Mum? I might be. I'll have, just have a look now. If not, um, just shout. I think this might be a what do they call it when they chuck rocks in a hole? Landfill. Landfill. I think it might have been used with various builds as landfill for great hunks of rock oh, from yeah. the extension. Oh, yeah, no, that makes perfect sense, Mark. In which ah. case, it doesn't mean we can't use it, but it means we've got to keep the stuff to the top. Well, no, it means I have to dig underneath it and somehow get it out with a rope. Well... Yeah, it does, Mum. We no, want, we want enriched think... soil here. We could have enriched soil on top of it. Yeah, but... I don't know. I'll try and get underneath that. But anyway, I'm going to dig a hole here for yeah, the Yeah, see hole. first if it... Yeah, if, it... if we can get it in here. All right, Mum. Well done. Thanks for your contribution. <laughs> oh, Mum, you wouldn't mind just getting rid of that pigeon, would you? Where? Over there, just above your head. There's the unmovable rock. There's the hole. Where are we going to put the hawthorn tree? Ooh. Yeah, the rake raking would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, for this bit down here, but I haven't finished the tomatoes. Just I've getting got... the hawthorn, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Where's that going to go? Oh. 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 Mum, Mum, it's a whole tree. I know. It's exciting, isn't it? Very You're exciting. You're going to come over for the planting? Come over. It's a bit like what? Midsummer. So we've had Parasite. Yeah. It's now like Midsummer. And now, walk like this. <laughs> huh? Famous film? Yeah, yeah, famous film. Young Frankenstein, yeah. 
So I'm quite shocked and pleasantly surprised by how much progress I've made digging a hole in here. I'm pretending it's for the tree. I'm gonna push Nanny die in there. Mum, just stand right by the edge of this hole, yeah? Just stand right by the edge of the hole, yeah? Planting a tree is akin to, well, it used to be akin to the Queen naming this ship. Stand by the hole, Mum. I named this hole Hawthorne. Now, it's been good knowing you. We need to... <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the scissors down here? I'm telling you Ah, oh, you know what we need? We need root saw. We need a root saw. Have you got a root saw? I have somewhere, but I don't know where. A root saw? I never even yeah. such a thing. Yeah, a root no, saw. Well, that's not big enough. It's not. It's, look how deep that thing is. You see if you're going to have to go deep. Can I just say? I'm just saying anything. You are the whole, you are the whole meister. The whole meister. The whole meister. I'm going to look this up when I get upstairs, because I brought my machine with me. Yeah. I have no idea what this looks like. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a double blossoming Hawthorn. Hawthorn, do you remember? Double blossoming? Maybe like it, is, it has. This is a, not a good place to put it. Maybe what? it won't share it off. No, but we're putting it in. Why do you always flag up a problem, Mum? No, no, I don't. What are you... it's just, I'm just saying, I want everything to be shown off to its best. I'm using this as a means to anchoring this bed so that we get the rest yes. of this bed done. Okay. okay it's going to look a bit scraggly. We've already got the um, I mean, headstone. Yeah, I think. And it's going to have daylight most of the day. Yeah, sun, sunlight, I mean. I mean, eventually, believe it or not, a wisteria will go around that tree and this whole corner could start to look very different. Well, why didn't that was wisteria? No, but it, it, yeah, because wisterias are uh, very, very... I mean, have you seen this wisteria look? Look at that tiny, tiny bit coming through there. Yeah, well, that, there you go. Yeah, but what's that about? Why hasn't it gone up here? They have, it has both sides. Wisterias are, are very, very... Temperamental? Old. This, what? There's lights on the tree, did you know you've yeah. got lights? Where have they come from? They're a solar powered one. Did they ever come on? Yeah, they used to. Oh. Yeah. No, eventually that will that will cover that, I know. So you think we need a bigger hole? Uh, what do you think? Uh, probably a touch deeper. Yeah. Guys. Perfect. Isn't it? Hey. Very perfect. I love it. Cretaceous Tavigata Paul Scarlet. We could use some of the tomato soil. Yeah, we could. We Couldn't could. we? I'm just going to put some of this backfill in. Mum, yeah. we've planted a hawthorn. Oh, I know. Oh, it looks lovely. Hey, look. Doesn't it? Looks really sweet. Carry on tomorrow, just forking up. I was going to use the rotavator for this, but I can use the rotavator for the front garden, for the kitchen garden. That's what that's for. I could just fork up the rest of this, so at least it's soily. Then I could put the tarpaulin over the top. We have this tree at one end. I think we should put a lilac at the other end of this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is exciting. We're getting stuff in. We're getting stuff into the garden, man. <sighs> Such a nice feeling. I've just had an amazing thought. We could use this rock, Mum, as a... Hang on. It's the cops. I'm going to get Nadia because she's wearing an outrageous bra today. Um, we could use this as a pedestal for a water feature or a sculpture. Yeah. We could get a, get a sculpture here, like a Star Wars sculpture or a skull or something that just sits there. Then I don't have to move it. I'm just wanting to re-delineate the edge of this bed. It's a little bit on the spectrum for me, but 
look. So look, you have delineated edge, and then just need it to close down there. New bed, new bed. I'm gonna quickly dig up a hole here and see if we can put the um, lilac in it. Don't stop me now, I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now, I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me. <laughs> How you doing over here? I did. I nearly swallowed myself to death. So, just going to offload these onto the hall for God, these are heavy. Much heavier than they looked. Oh my God. Good grief. horticultural cannibalism. I've put freshly killed tomato roots at the roots of another tree to feed off. I guess it is. I guess the cyclical nature of nature, the cyclical nature of Mother Earth is cannibalism, essentially. We eat like of like, we take like of like, and with like of like, we can buy a bike. Say what? It is, isn't it? Ooh. Guess what? what? I can't stop. I've got a hole for this lilac. I'm putting it in. Yeah, it's getting dark. There's hardly any light. I'm having to use my clenching crutch. Oh! Sprungeth from the loins of an Adley man. Now thrust said root ball into thus crafted who from whence the root ball will spreadeth outwards, finding sustenance from surrounding neighbourhoods. Oh, the joys of lilac. O oh, lilac, be thee happy in thy hole. Oh. I hope thy hath a fortuitous existence in thy corner, corner point of said new bed. Halle Maria, Halle Maria, Lilac Deria, Lilac Maria, forever thou shalt be, a lilac in name, shadow and being, thy will be done. Thine will be sun, thine will be the organ by which thy life is thus made complete. Something like that. And that's it guys for this one. I feel quite content that we've planted a hawthorn. A lilac, you can't see in this light. But I'm looking forward to coming out in the morning and seeing how things are. And we've planted a magnolia stellata. So let's go and sum up, shall we, with the nanny die. Nanny die, yeah. hail, Harkin. <laughs> I'm just going to stroll right on over. And you are strolling. Hey, you? Ma. Oh. <laughs> you can't see anything in this light. Not at all. Where are... Oh, sorry. <laughs> so what have we done? What have we achieved? Share with the subs. Oh, I think we've achieved so much. First of all, we planted the magnolia stellata. Do you want to go over and show them? Yeah, we'll sh yeah, yeah, no, we'll show them in the morning. But I mean, we sh yeah. Then, and what do you think that's... The, what, give, give us a snapshot of what we can hope for from that. I think that, that will bring the garden together. That everything will congregate around the magnolia stellata. They're long grown. They, they grow for a long time. They're, they're very sort of symbolic and sim, sim, oh. something, there's something so wonderful about, because they come so early. Yes. Because they're so sort of... So it's like the early, things. sort of, almost the early... Presages spring. Presages spring, beautifully oh. put, Mum. And, and then um, down the end there, in the brand new bed... We have a... Uh, we discovered a tomb. <laughs> yeah. Which, which is quite oh. Yes. Did you see the bird fall down? No. 
We've been jumped down on. All oh, right. Um, so we've planted the double flowering hawthorn. Why do I want to keep saying hornbeam? Hawthorn, yes. Hawthorn. Hawthorn. And I've just slipped in a little lilac down this end. So oh, what you've I'm got, Mum, down there, which is your bed, yes. you've got two counterpoints. You've got yes. the hawthorn at one end, Look marking. At the hawthorn from oh, here. Yes. Doesn't it? Isn't it a lovely? It looks lovely, shape? yeah. So you've got the hawthorn down one end, marking the end of one boundary. I hope I don't give favouritism to the hawthorn. And you've got a lilac at this far end, okay. giving you the length of your bed. So you could go down there tomorrow morning, have a look at it and think, what am I going to fill yonder bed with? Exactly, exactly. So there we go. Okay. I like the way you lean on your broom. Yeah, it's perfect size for me. Isn't actually. it? And things here are getting clearer. Aren't they? We and were I... working in perfect tandem. Just we were, we were. We? we just don't have a camera up here for me. But what we do and will do, as I've realised, is we're going to take the soil from the potatoes yeah. to put into the pots there so we can relinquish the pots from there and they can be soiled up. Because that will be good for winter. It will keep them warm, the roots. Because exactly. only, there's only those two are full of soil, the others are just in their pots in the thingies. See exactly. what I mean? Look, we were doing this, yes. Mark and Nanny Dye. Oh, oh, what fell over? Oh. Mark and Nanny Dyeism. Yeah, so you can see in there, look. See, they're in pots. Yeah, yeah. So we're yeah, going to yeah. take them out of the pots and supplement them with the soil from the yeah. potatoes. Brilliant recycling of soil. I've got obsessed with recycling soil, Mum. And I, I'm even recycling water here. I don't know why. And I think it's such a nice water. feeling, isn't it, when you recycle stuff? Yeah, Yeah. Is. Um, all right, Mum, say goodbye. It's a really good job that I've moved all those leaves there because they were smelling horrible. The fox has been using them, and I think Toff has been really on top of the fox. What a beautiful <laughs> sort ending. of aromatic end to yeah, no, Green Fingered Hell. Up, which is why I moved that one first. Okay. These, these are fresh. And just paint that vivid picture of the smell again. Well, no, I won't. Okay, um, say goodbye in this episode. Bye! We're back, Green Fingered Hell. I can back. sort of smell it, Mum. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, bad. It was bad. Nadia said that. <laughs> yeah, I think she was even coming out and weeing out here. Shut up. <laughs> so, Ma. Okay, long, Ma. Oh, Ma. Go on. Ma. Please, Ma. Am I your boy? You're my boy. Say I'm your boy. Yeah. You're very much my boy. And you're my Ma. Yeah. I'm going to make my Ma a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. please do. Come out. <laughs> <laughs>